Homemade snacks are a breeze in the Lavelli Breeze Dehydrator. Today we're going to dehydrate some pineapple to make an awesome sweet snack. It's easy to do, so let's get straight into it. I've got one large pineapple today, which will fill about five trays in the dehydrator. You could use two small pineapples if you like. All we need to do is peel our pineapple and cut it into uniform slices. I'm going to cut mine around four to five millimeters thick, and that'll give me a nice chewy snack. If you wanted more of a pineapple chip, then you could cut it thinner, probably between one and two millimeters. I'm going to use a mandolin today to make the job a bit quicker, and that way I know I'll get really nice uniform slices. Otherwise, take your time with your knife, just make sure that you get them nice and even. I finished slicing my pineapple now, all I need to do is load them onto the trays. Now these are gonna taste their best when they're ripe and in season. Load up the trays, giving a little space in between, making sure that they're not overlapping. Once you've loaded up your trays, you can punch in your time and temperature settings, which are 70 degrees for nine hours. The dehydrating times can vary a little due to a couple of things like the humidity in the air, the ripeness in the fruit, and of course, how thick you've cut your slices. If after the nine hours you find that they're not quite there yet, then you can put them on for another hour or so until they're ready. They should be pliable, but not wet. So this has been on for nine hours now. Let's take the lid off and have a look. So there's our dehydrated pineapple. All of the natural sugars have intensified to give it an amazing candy-like sweetness. They're ready to eat just like that. And if you wanna store them for longer, then we recommend vacuum sealing. Put them in your kids' lunch boxes for an easy, healthy snack, or you could dip them in some chocolate for something a little more indulgent. Put them on the tops of cakes for decoration, or you could even use them to garnish your drinks. That's it for today. We hope you have a really good week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons and we'll be back soon with another Lavelli Life recipe.